Kiki here with you and I wanted to flip through my first little journal uh, that I've made with the Project Life uh, Becky Higgins little punch. So it was a punch that I purchased because it was on special and I figured for small pages it might be fun instead of using the big cinch. I have to admit however to using the cinch to close it off because I don't know how this is supposed to work to close it off. I don't know if you're supposed to use it to close it off, but I couldn't figure it out. So I use the holes um, for that, for the small pages, but I use the cinch to actually make the binding solid. So to, and I use the smaller uh, rings to make it. So. I decided to make this little book for my Etsy store and I'm going to be putting my stamp on it. So this is a cheese the box that I took off the um, I took off uh, the sides. So basically these are the sides and they came off like really really easily and I I was left with this and I thought this was going to be really kind of cute because it's unusual and uh, just fun so hopefully you guys are gonna like it so you open it up here and you've got the story of the Quebec Oka and how it started and whatever and you've got some ledger paper this is Trivial Pursuit game card so I put all kinds of stuff in here then you've got a time card some paper that's been uh, coffee dyed another journaling card this is a gift type of card a message little paper then you've got this is a library card this comes from a London um, map book some more coffee dyed this is from a game that I purchased at a thrift store uh, this is another trivial pursuit but different than the first one here that you see so I like and this one is in French it's kind of fun then I put some Archie comic in French some uh, music sheets, more of the library card, some time card. This is actually a recipe uh, card that I've put in there. So this could be used for a type of little collage. And basically, I didn't want to put it too filled up. This is from um, the Impossible Machine game. It looks like it, these are just so much fun, those cards. This is a recycled envelope that I had uh, used some um, uh, Blitzo, I believe, on them. Uh, so yeah, I this is a yum uh, playing game thing from another game. So I didn't put it too filled up because of the fact that I wanted whoever was going to purchase it to be able to put stuff in it and that it wouldn't uh, buckle and it ends with an index card that I had painted so it's still it's still like chunky but I can imagine that if you put stuff in it it's gonna get to this which is just the right size for for binding like this so that's why I didn't put more paper in it overall there's one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 pages other than the covers. So I'm going to write that down because I'm going to forget. So that is the book I wanted to share with you and I'm super excited because I actually used up something that I purchased yeah and it's it's fun I like making these bindings and I, I like making these smaller books and I like using packaging this way so hopefully you guys are gonna like it as well I thought it's kind of fun because it's a uh, it's packaging that's from Quebec uh, Canada and I don't think they're available everywhere and anyway even if they were I I don't know if they'd be um, see they're made in Longueuil in Quebec so it's kind of fun 
So let me know. Bye, everyone.